Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. I'm Brian Stewart. We're starting a new book. It's Level B, which means two things. One, we're going to be talking about different subjects in each unit. We'll be talking about science, social studies, health, sports, that's fun, math, and fine arts. So we'll talk about these different subjects in each of the units. The second thing is that the vocabulary might be a little more difficult than before, but that's okay. Don't worry. I'll help you. We'll go over it together. We'll practice the pronunciation, and I hope that you understand what these words mean after each unit. So let's work together and figure these things out. Are you ready? Let's begin with unit one. Unit one, we're talking about the environment. So this is, has to do with science, right? Natural science. In unit one, we're going to be looking at sharks for lesson one. Do you know about sharks? We're going to find out a lot about sharks in this lesson. We will focus on learn about the best hunter in the ocean. The best hunter in the ocean. What is that? Of course, that is the shark. So what do you know about sharks, right? What do you know about sharks? Now this is kind of a scary picture, right? It's a cartoon about sharks. And in the lesson, we're going to take a look at sharks and, and uh, look at their teeth and, and see how they might be scary. But you know what? Really, sharks are not really that dangerous. This is just a funny cartoon. Do you know, I'm a scuba diver. I like to scuba dive. And sharks are afraid of people. If I see a shark, he's swimming away. <laughs> so that's very interesting. But we'll, we'll look in this unit, we'll see other interesting facts about sharks. Let's begin with the vocabulary. Let's start. Number one, a living being. There are many living things in the world, right? You and I are living beings. Dogs are living beings, parrots, right? Cats, rabbits, lizards, <laughs> right? We have a lot of different living beings. What do we call things that live? It's a word that starts with C. It's creature. This is a little bit of a difficult word. Let's practice the pronunciation. Creature, creature. It's two syllables, two sounds. Creature, creature. Okay, so creatures are all living things. You and I are creatures. Dogs are creatures. Parrots are creatures. Anything that lives and moves is a creature. Plants aren't creatures. Usually animals are creatures. Okay, let's move on. The next one, here are a couple of creatures here, right? One who finds and kills animals. One means a creature, a living thing that finds, finds and kills animals. What is it? We call it a hunter. Now here we see this is a spider. A spider is a hunter because it finds, well, insects find it and it kills those things. But we are hunters too. Human beings are hunters. We hunt, especially a long, long time ago, Human beings had to hunt for their food. So there were many hunters in a long time ago. People were hunters. Okay, let's move on. The next one is very surprising and wonderful. Wow, this little boy has a present. He's opening the present. Wow, he's really surprised. And he thinks this thing is wonderful. What can we say? It's amazing, amazing. If you find something, or you see something, or you learn new information that's really surprising and really wonderful, that's amazing. Okay, so something that's amazing, surprising, and wonderful. Next one. What's happening here? We have a picture. One side of the tree is very green, nice. The other side of the tree is dead, right? to become different, right? Maybe it's 
becoming different. Trees, of course, change with the seasons. What do they do? They change with the seasons. So to become different, they change. So maybe in the summertime, the tree looks green, has a lot of leaves, but in the winter, all the leaves are gone. The tree looks like it's dead. The tree changes with the seasons. Okay, let's move on. Number five, a small amount of liquid. This little bit of liquid right here, right? What is that? That is a drop, a drop of liquid. Do you know, of course, when it rains, right? It rains like this, and we call those little pieces of water falling from the sky, we call them raindrops. Raindrops, because many little drops are falling from the sky. Many drops will get you very wet, right? We call those raindrops. So a small amount of liquid is a drop, a drop of liquid, a drop of water. Next one, this is a strange picture. What's that shark doing on land? <laughs> That's very weird. Okay, but anyway, we're looking at hard white parts in the mouth. You have them too. A shark has them, right? A shark has many. Look at the bottom. There's so many, right? Sharks have rows, actually. Some sharks have three rows of these things, okay? What are they? Of course, we're talking about teeth. Teeth, okay? Be careful, right? Because teeth means many teeth. What if you say one? If you say one, you say tooth. Tooth. So, one tooth, many teeth. Okay? That's important to remember. So, if you go to bed at night, right, you wake up and your tooth falls out, you have one tooth. Your tooth is gone, right? So, some children, you guys lose your teeth, right? But one tooth at a time, okay? So, that's teeth. Next one is very small, very small. Look at this food. I'm still hungry after looking at this or eating this. So small, look, it's so tiny. Shrimp and potato and asparagus, it's very small. What do we say? We say it's tiny, tiny, really small. The next one, what's this guy doing? Okay, maybe he jumped up and suddenly you see him, right? To come into view. Somebody who comes into view suddenly appear, appear. So if you're walking along and you don't see your friend, suddenly your friend is there. Whoa! Your friend appeared in front of you. Your friend appeared in front of you. Appeared. Your friend appeared in front of you. The pronunciation, appear, appear appear. So one more time, appear. Your friend appeared in front of you. So to appear. The next one, number nine, what's this, right? That's the stuff in your body, right? If you go to the hospital, the doctor will take some of your red liquid inside your body to find out if you're healthy or not. What do we call that liquid? We call it blood. <laughs> Okay, like a vampire will say blood. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but we say blood, B-L, bl, bl, blood, blood. So we say blood, and that's the liquid inside your body. Do you know what blood does? It carries oxygen throughout your body. It helps you live. Blood is very important. Okay. Something that causes fear, what is this? A cra these kids were watching television, suddenly the monster came out of the television. It's causing fear. Something that causes fear is what? We say it's scary, very scary. Something that causes fear, it's scary. <gasps> the movie is scary, right? Okay, so scary. Next one, having much power, something that has a lot of power. This little girl, wow, she's really what? She can climb that rock face. So she has a lot of power. She is strong. She is strong. Having much power is strong. Are you strong? Can you do a lot of sports? Uh, if you play, you run outside, you will get strong. So don't study all the time. Don't play video games all the time. Go outside and play sometimes and get strong. Okay, 
get your power. Okay, next one. Oh, here we have the subject of our lesson. A large fish in the sea. So a large fish in the sea with sharp teeth. And you can see those teeth. Whoa, they're right there and right there, right? We saw a picture of this guy before. He was on land for some reason. He had a lot of teeth, right? What is it? It's a shark. A shark. A large fish in the sea with sharp teeth. That's a shark. Next one, 13. Having little or no light. Okay, this street, there's a lot of lights here, but imagine if you go off on a smaller street and there's not a lot of lights, right? Or there's very little light and it's hard to see, right? I can't see very well. There's not enough light. We say it's dark. It's dark. At night, it's dark outside. There's no sun, so it's dark outside. Okay. What's this guy doing? <laughs> that looks kind of strange. Maybe he's, he's afraid of somebody else in the office, right? And he doesn't want to be seen. To go somewhere where nobody can see you, right? I can't see this guy. He's under the desk. Maybe you play a game with your friends, right? Where you, what do you do? You hide. The game that you play with your friends is probably called hide and Hide and what? Hide and seek. Yes. Hide and seek. So hide means to go somewhere where nobody can see you, and seek means to look for that person. So many children hide, one child seeks, okay, and finds those people. Maybe he finds those people. But remember, hide is an irregular verb. We change it when we talk about the past tense. Right? So we say hide, then we say hid, hid, and then we say hidden, hidden. So hide, hid, hidden. Okay, that's how the verb changes for the past tense. Okay, next one. Whoa, do you do this? Can you do this? This is very nice in the summer when it's really hot. I want to go do this, right? To move in the water like a fish. Well, he's not really moving like a fish. Did you see a fish do this? I never saw a fish do that. But people, when you do this, right, you're moving through the water. Fish also do that like this, right? What are they doing? Swim. They are swimming. Can you swim? Okay. Remember, swim is an irregular verb. It changes in the past. So we say swim, swam, swum. Okay, one more time. Swim swam, swum, okay? That's how the verb changes in the past tense, okay? So maybe this summer you will go swimming, okay? I hope so. It's cool. It's great. It will make you strong. Okay, next one. Number 16, not closed. So the door is not closed. If it's not closed, it is, of course, open. Open, closed, pandero, right? They are opposites. Closed, and open are opposites. Opposites. I think in Korean, you say pandero, right? Something that is opposite. Closed and open. Okay, that wraps it up for our words. Let's review those words with some vocabulary exercises. Are you ready? These are the words we're going to use. Creatures, creatures, teeth, teeth, appear, up here, and change, change. We're going to take these words and we're going to complete each sentence with one of these words. So we have four sentences. We need to complete these sentences with one of these words. Let's take a look at number one. Number one, many different beep live in the ocean. Many different what live in the ocean? We have creatures, teeth, appear, change. Many different teeth live in the ocean? No, that's crazy, right? Before we talked about living things, things that live, all things that live, we say they are what? Creatures, right? Creatures. And if you think about it, many different creatures live in the ocean. True, we're talking about sharks in this lesson, but there's many kinds of fish, right? It's big fish, little fish, red fish, uh, blackfish, there are octopus, there are squid, squid, 
ojingo, right? But you eat ojingo, right? So squid, there's whales. So many different creatures live in the ocean. It's really amazing. Okay, number two, sharks have big and scary what? If you see a shark, most people think, well, sharks, they have a lot of, right? And they have big and they could be scary. They are, of course, we're talking about teeth. Sharks have big and scary teeth, right? When people look at sharks, one of the first things they see is the teeth, right? Okay, let's move on to number three. I don't want to swim. Oh. A shark might what? A shark might what? A shark might suddenly come up, right? A shark might appear, right? And that's interesting. I don't want to swim. A shark might appear. Yes, when you go to the beach, be careful. If the lifeguard says don't swim because there's a shark, don't swim. But usually sharks, you don't really have to worry about them. Like I said before, they'll swim away from you. A lot of people don't know that when they're swimming, there's sharks in the water. Most sharks don't attack people, but you still have to be careful. Make sure you check with the lifeguard at the beach before you go swimming. Four, soon it will be winter. Soon it will be winter. That means it's not winter now. Maybe it's fall. It's still warm, but it will soon get cold. The weather will do what? It will it will go from kind of warm to cold. It will change. The weather will change, right? From fall to winter, it's really cold in the winter. And then it will change again when it becomes spring, right? So the weather will change when the seasons change. Okay, that wraps up our words. So we've learned a lot of words in this unit so far. Now we're going to take a short break, come back, and look at a reading passage using these words. Don't go away. We'll see you soon. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're continuing our lesson on sharks, right? So now we have a reading passage to go over together. Let's take a look. First, we have many ocean creatures are hunters. They find and eat other fish. So these two sentences are very closely connected. Many ocean creatures. Before we said there are many creatures in the ocean. Well, of course, many of those creatures find and hunt and kill and eat other creatures. So many creatures are hunters. Then this sentence defines what is a hunter, right? Many ocean creatures are hunters. They, hunters, find and eat other fish. That's what a hunter is. Let's continue. But, however, none of them can hunt like a shark. So, yes, many creatures are hunters, but the best hunter is a shark, right? None of them can hunt like a shark. That means the sharks are the best hunters in the water, okay? Because none of the other creatures can hunt like a shark. Sharks are the best hunters in the water. Why? Why are sharks good hunters? And we have some questions. Is it, is it because of their big, strong teeth? So is it because of their teeth? They do have scary teeth, but their senses are even scarier. What does that mean, right? They're saying that, sure, sharks are big, are, are really good hunters because they have big, scary teeth, that's true, but there's another reason, more important reason, that sharks are uh, good hunters. It's because their senses are even scarier. What are senses? Senses are your ability to know what's going on around you. Your senses are sight, your, your sense of sight, that's a sense. Hearing is another sense. Smell is another sense. Blah, blah. <laughs> Taste is another sense. And of course, feel, when you feel something. Those are the five senses. Sharks' senses are really, really good. Some of the sharks' uh, senses are really good, and that makes them even scarier for other creatures in the ocean. Let's take a look. Let's continue. 
Now, we're going to see one example of a, how scary a shark senses and one type of sense. A tiny drop of blood. So imagine a tiny drop of blood boop, falls into the ocean. So a tiny drop of blood falls into the ocean. A few minutes later, a few minutes later, 10 sharks appear, right? How did they know? How did they know? They have to have a really good sense of what? Sharks have a very good sense of smell. Ah, smell. That's one of the senses we talked about, right? So they can smell a tiny drop of blood that falls in the ocean. Sharks can smell it. And many sharks, 10 sharks, come because they smell the blood. Wow, that's really scary, right? Their noses are amazing. It's not just scary, it's amazing. They can smell a tiny drop of blood from far away and they come, that's really amazing. They know exactly where a smell is coming from. So if you think about that, that's really amazing. A tiny drop of blood goes in the water, sharks can smell it. Their sense of smell is very amazing. Their sense of smell is really amazing. So many sharks come. They know exactly where that drop of blood is, where that smell is coming from. It's very impressive, very amazing. If a shark smells a fish, especially if the fish is bleeding, it knows which way to swim to find it. So it knows, oh, ah, it's that way right? The sharks, you know, they have to, they don't just go like this, right? They also go like this and down because in the water they can go in many different directions. But the shark knows where to go to find that fish. Sharks can also see very well too. Ah, that's the second sense, right? First we talked about smell. They can smell blood, but also they can see very well. Some parts of the ocean, so some parts of the ocean don't get much light. Get much light means there's not a lot of light here, right? Maybe in your bedroom. Look around in your bedroom. Are there parts of your bedroom that are a little dark? Those areas don't get much light, okay? So some parts of the ocean don't get much light, especially deep under the water, there's not much light. Sharks can find fish even in these dark places. Even in the dark places, sharks can see where the fish are. Okay? So that's interesting. Look at this picture. This is a very amazing picture. Look at all these sharks. Actually, if I'm a diver here, I would love to see this. You know, just sit there and look. Wow, that would be amazing, right? Okay. Still don't think sharks are the best hunters? This is a question for you, this question is aimed directly at you. You still, we could put you, but we don't have to. That's what we think. You still don't think sharks are the best hunters? You still don't think that way? <laughs> right? That's what the question is asking. Try hiding from a shark. <laughs> well, that's kind of, kind of funny because, uh, you know, sharks will usually run away from you. They're not going to find you. But anyway, try hiding from a shark. It's not easy to hide. If you're a fish and you're bleeding, it's not easy to hide from a shark. It will find you easily. Sharks know where you are. Sharks can feel things moving in the water. So there's another sense. That's a third sense, right? They can smell blood. They can see in the dark. They can also feel changes in the water. It's amazing. They can feel the water change if something swims near them. Water is heavy, right? If you go like this in the water and your arm is over here, you know, you're not touching, but you can feel. When you push the water, your other arm feels that pressure. Sharks can feel that too, of course. So their sense of feel is very good as well. So they can feel the water change if something swims near them. They know they can feel that. So, we've talked about three senses, smell, sight, and feeling. Okay. There's another interesting fact about sharks about their sleep. Did you know that some sharks sleep with their eyes open? Can you do that? Can you with your eyes open? That's crazy, right? 
but sharks swim with their eyes open. Open. Many scientists are studying sharks because we, we want to protect these amazing animals. Sharks are really amazing. We want to study them and know how we can protect sharks.、Um, so, some sharks sleep with their eyes open. It's true. It really is true. Some sharks will sleep on the bottom, they'll rest on the bottom of the ocean. I've seen them, I've come close to sharks that were swimming, that were staying on the bottom, but don't touch them. Because they will be afraid of that and they'll swim away. Just get close to them and look at them. They're very amazing. But some sharks can't do that. Some sharks keep swimming even though their brain is kind of like sleeping. Maybe you do that. Sometimes at school you're walking around but you're sleeping, right? That's the, what sharks do, okay? Some sharks, not all sharks, different types of sharks do different things. Okay. So, but some sharks sleep with their eyes open. Their eyes are open while they're sleeping. So, How do we know if a shark is sleeping or looking for something to eat, right? How do we know if a shark is sleeping or just looking for something to eat? It says we don't here. We don't know. We're not sure. And there's only one way to find out. There's only one way to find out. That means we just have to、uh, be careful. What the author is saying here is that、uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's if the shark goes and bites something. But to be honest with you, to be truthful with you, sharks really are not always going to attack something. Sharks only eat very little part of their day. Uh, they usually hunt at night too. Usually during the day, sharks are just swimming around. They're just looking around. If they see an animal that is sick or bleeding, then they will attack it. But they're not going to attack an animal that seems to have no problems. And they're not going to attack you if you're swimming underwater. They might attack people on the surface of the water because they think those people are seals. So that's, that's the dangerous part. That's the dangerous、uh, place. So, but that when they say there's only one way to find out, that means there's only one way to see if the shark bites something or not. So it's kind of like a scary sentence. Okay, well, that wraps up the reading. Now let's take a look at the reading comprehension questions. Number one, as number one, this story is about. So we're asking, what is the big subject that this story is about? It's pretty easy, right? We remember. That this story is it about sharks? Yes, that's what we're talking about. This story is about sharks, right? That's what we've talked about. We've talked about the senses of the sharks. Sharks can smell well, they can see well, they can feel well, and we also saw that sharks have an interesting way to sleep. They sleep with their eyes open. All of these facts are about sharks. So that's our big subject in this. Lesson Sharks. Sure, we talked about sharp teeth, but that was a small part of the、uh, reading passage. We talked about strong senses, the three strong senses, but again, that was a small part. And we talked about change,、uh, the changes in the water that sharks can sense, but that was a really small part. That was a tiny part of the reading, right? The whole reading was about sharks. So this story is about sharks. Okay, number two. Some sharks sleep. Remember that amazing thing we learned about sharks? It's very amazing that shark, some sharks sleep with their eyes open. That's A. Is that right? Did we learn about that? Yes, it's true. With their eyes open. Some sharks sleep with their eyes open. So that's the right answer. With their eyes open. B. On the bottom of the ocean. It didn't say that. The reading passage didn't say that. I said that. Some sharks sleep on the bottom, some sharks keep swimming, but the reading passage didn't say that, so we can't choose that. Some sharks sleep on sailboats. <laughs> That's funny, right? That's like a sailboat's coming through, and all these sharks go, Hey, can we sleep on your boat? No, that's crazy, right?、Uh, so, and besides, sharks can't sleep out of water, <sighs> they die. They can't breathe. In air, they have to breathe in water, right? So that's wrong too. Yeah, number C is wrong and number B is wrong. Some sharks sleep all the time. <laughs> no, they can't do that. I know sometimes you want to sleep all the time, right? 
Wow, that'd be great, right? No, but that's boring, right? We want to do things, right? And sharks can't sleep all the time. They have to eat. They have to meet other sharks, right? They have to uh, do many things to survive. They can't sleep all the time. So some sharks sleep with their eyes open. That's what was in the passage. Okay. Sharks can feel the water what if something swims near them? Remember, something happens to make it different, right? What is that? Sharks can feel the water drop if something swims near them. So the water drops. They can't feel that because they're in water. If water drops, that's on the surface of the water, right? So they don't feel it drop. Can feel the water change if something swims near them? Yeah, that's our answer. Can feel it change. So our answer is sharks can feel the water change if something swims near them. They can feel the water moving, right? So they can feel that change. They can feel the water swim. Can water swim? No, that's crazy. Only creatures can swim. Can feel the water blood? That, does, that doesn't make any sense at all, right? There's no, water doesn't have blood, right? Water's just water. Okay, so sharks can feel the water change if something swims near them. That's the correct answer. Okay, number four, sharks are very good what? What are sharks really good at? Are they good singers? Can sharks sing? Like I said before, I'm a scuba diver. I like to dive on the water. I've never heard singing underwater, right? That's crazy. <laughs> so sharks don't sing underwater. They're not good singers. Sharks are good sleepers. That's kind of weird because, you know, the passage didn't say that they are good sleepers. It just said that they could sleep with their eyes open, right? So that's not right. This next one is funny. The sharks are very good at doing puzzles. <laughs> so, so whenever I go diving, I have a lot of books with me, crossword puzzles, and I give them to the sharks, right? And the sharks take them. No, that's crazy, right? That's very silly. Sharks don't do puzzles. They're not intelligent like people are. So that's very silly answer, right? Silly. Finally, we have D, hunters. Sharks are very good hunters. Yes, they are. That's the answer because we talked about that. Sharks are very good hunters because they have really good senses. And what do hunters do? Hunters find other animals and kill them, okay? So sharks have to have very good senses to find other animals and sharp teeth to kill them. So sharks are very good hunters, okay? And we can Okay, and that's what we're talking about. Sharks are great hunters, right? As we can see, I'm a shark, the best hunter in the water. The best hunter in the water. Why? We talked about that in the passage. Well, first of all, sharks have very scary teeth. So if this shark could talk, he says, I have very scary teeth, right? And that's to kill the animals. Remember, hunter finds and kills other creatures. They have good teeth to be able to do that. They also have strong, scary senses, don't they? For example, I have a very good sense of smell. Sharks can smell very well. They can smell that tiny drop of blood in the water. They can smell that. Wow, amazing. Another one, I can see very well. They can see very well. And their other sense that we talked about, I can feel feel things moving in the water, okay? So the three senses are smell, seeing, and feeling. Smelling, seeing, and feeling. Those are the three senses that make a shark the best hunter in the water. So, really amazing, huh? Did you learn some new things about sharks in this lesson? I hope so. It's a very interesting subject. Anyway, hope you've learned a lot as always. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.